Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. In this video, we're going to be looking at a range of different Google Chrome add-ons slash extensions that you can use with your Google Chrome browser. Google Chrome add-ons slash extensions are fantastic for you as an educator. They can make your life a little bit easier, they can really enhance the learning of your pupils, and they can just be a little bit of a fun add-on for your children to be engaged with. We're going to look at some of my favorites within this video, but to make this as efficient and time-saving as possible for you, I'm going to link all of the different add-ons down in the description with timestamps so that you can quickly flick through each one to save you that little bit of time. If you enjoy the video, of course, feel free to like it. That's always appreciated. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe and welcome to the channel. So let's jump into some of my favorite Google add-ons. So to add a Google Chrome extension into your browser, it's really simple. You're going to Google search Chrome extensions and come to the Chrome web store. Make sure you're signed in on your account. And then you can see straight away a range of different Google Chrome extensions that you can add in. And there's absolutely loads. So let's jump into some of my favorites now. So the first Google Chrome extension is, of course, one that I've used frequently recently, and that is Bitmoji. Now, if you've not seen any of my previous Bitmoji videos, I have a whole playlist full of Bitmoji tutorials to help you create a Bitmoji classroom, something that's quite popular at the moment. So our Google Chrome add-on here, Bitmoji, is one that just drops down. To add this in, you need to have a Bitmoji account through the app, and then you can just add in different bitmojis and all sorts of different things like that. You can type pose and you'll get a range of different poses. I'm going to drag and drop this one in and it just adds that personal element to some of the classrooms. At the same time, it's something that the children really do engage with too. Uh, you can also then drag and drop it into work to give that feedback. For example, you can see one up here quality content, or if we type well done, we've got a range of other ones available there. There's lots of different options available too. So Bitmoji, one that I definitely recommend. Lots of you have seen my previous videos. If you've not seen them, feel free to check those out. The next one is something that I was shown by someone online, and it was something that when I looked at it, I thought I could have added that into my Bitmoji classroom tutorial, and that is this one here. Giphy for Chrome. Now you can add GIFs into Google Slides or Google Docs. And essentially what that helps you do is just make things a little bit more interactive, a little bit more engaging, fun. It's not gonna change education, but it does just add that little element of engagement. So if I wanted to add in a globe, type in globe, you can see a range of different globes come up. I wanna drag and drop this one in, and I'm gonna, change the size, and you can see that up there. Now, if I click off, click onto the text, and then you, I can just delete the text, and there we go, we've got a little globe up on the whiteboard. So Giphy is great for Google Docs, Google Slides, and it's just something that, like I said, is a little bit engaging, so it's one that I'd recommend. So my next favorite Google Chrome add-on is Screencastify. Now, Screencastify is something that many of you may be familiar with already. It's a great way to be able to record your screen and for children to also see your face at the same time. It's a really powerful tool and my children have also noted that they've enjoyed it a little bit more because they can see my face at the same time. It's this one up here and you can see I'm currently recording. There's a range of different things that you can do with it. You can see old recordings. There is a subscription-based thing, but everything I'm doing at the moment is for free. Once you've got that, you there is an, a powerful editor tool available and then you can download it and use them as and when you want to. You can upload them straight to your Google Classroom or share them as a link through emails or share them as a link onto your Google Classroom or even Seesaw too. So really fantastic tool and something I would definitely recommend. The next Google Chrome add-on is called Moat. Now this powerful tool is something that has really changed my online teaching. It's something that allows you to give children verbal feedback each day. It's something that I use regularly. Thank you to the person who recommended this. It was a colleague from my school who recommended this and absolutely blew my mind. So huge thank you to you. So Moat allows you to go to a pupil's work. Now, usually you would type a comment. Now, for me personally, that's sometimes a little bit cumbersome. However, through this system, I can come to it and just simply click on this little M and give some feedback. So if I go to the child's work, you can see here, let's have a quick scan. 
I absolutely love the use of time adverbials throughout this storyboard. One thing I notice is that after that needs a comma. In addition to that, just have a little bit of a check of the spelling of violet. Press done. And it has a little bit of a think about it. Now, usually I just flick to another tab as and when it's doing this. And once I've done that, I just press post. And there we go. One thing you need to do is check the transcription because sometimes it doesn't quite pick up what you're saying. So if you need to edit it, you just quickly click on the edit and you can change the transcript there too. Really simple, but also powerful tool that I absolutely love. So my next add-on is Grammarly. It's a fantastic little add-on that gives that extra line of proofreading. Sometimes I struggle with proofreading, so it's just something that assists me before sending that all-important email or sending reports off for somebody to read them. So here, if I type in, that's great, thank you. And you can see that straight away, Grammarly's picked up that this needs an apostrophe, and there's loads of little features available through that. Now, some of you will be saying, well, surely the default spell check is available on Google Docs and email. And yes, it is, but I sometimes find that having that additional assistance gives that extra layer of proofreading that I really benefit from. So my next favorite add-on is this one, the Save to Google Drives. Now, you don't actually need it in the top corner, and we're going to look at ways that you can remove this without actually removing the Google Chrome add-on in a second. Uh, but basically, if you right-click or double-tap on a laptop and go to Save Image to Google Drive, you can see straight away I can rename this to Jordan and Apply. And there, it's saved straight into my drive on my Google Drive, rather than saving it to my laptop's drive and then transferring it. So it's just, it takes away that additional complexity, making your life a little bit easier. So the next Google Chrome add-on is called Tab Resizer. And what that allows you to do is to change the layout of your Google Chrome tabs. This is fantastic for reports. Let's say you have some report guidance and the actual reports that you want to put in split screen, you simply click on that one and decide how you're going to have it. I'm gonna have one times two. And then straight away, you can see that the report guidance is there. Now you can see that I've just set something up very quickly here, but I can then type up here, Jimmy is a great, now that is obviously not a report, but it gives you that split screen to make things a little bit more easy. In addition to that, you're going to need the glue tabs that's then going to merge the tabs very quickly back together. So click on that one. This one here is similar. It's just split a selected tab and that does exactly the same as the previous one. This one just gives you more options. The next one is really effective for Google Meets with your class. Now you'll see in the top hand corner up here that I have a range of different notifications coming up. That comes from a, an add-on called Nod. Now, if you get your pupils to download that, then when you have your pupils on mute, then the children can add their reactions such as hand up or laughing. And it's just a great way for children to remain engaged even though they're on mute. It's something that is very beneficial. Now, if you're a little bit like me and have come towards the end of the video and thought, well, I'm a bit overwhelmed by how many add-ons you've just explained. And I'm a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of add-ons that you have up in this top corner up here. Well, the next one is fantastic. It's called Extensity. And what it does is, it basically maps out and gives you a menu of all the different extensions that you have available. If you click on them, then it removes them from that top bar. So if we go onto the Save to Google Drive, that's one that you don't really need because you can right click or two finger tap on a laptop. So if you just click on that, it removes it, tap back and it adds it back in. So you can see, you do that with all sorts of different things. Don't really want Grammarly at the moment. And it just clears up that top corner to give you a nice clear space of the ones that you use regularly. In addition to that, there is also a really effective app section down in the corner here. You can see Gmail, Docs, Google Drive, Sheets, Slides, and YouTube. Now, if I click on Docs, it's going to open up Docs straight away, and then I can very quickly access a blank Docs and just get started. So that's a really powerful tool for a range of different reasons. 
Another reason why I love this extensity add-on is because of the top icons up here. Now you've obviously got Twitter and Facebook. However, if you look at this little puzzle piece and tap onto that, it's going to take you through to all of your different extensions that we've seen within the video. Now you can remove them directly from here, or if you just click on this little toggle switch here, you'll see Giphy goes, pops up, goes, pops up. So it can help you manage that a little bit easier, but I do still prefer having extensity. This is just good to be able to actually remove add-ons completely. Alternatively, if you don't want to download the extensity tool, that's fine. Uh, you can come down to here. If you click on this little icon up in the top right-hand corner, scroll all the way down to more tools, extensions, and it's going to show you the same page. But for me personally, I just like having that drop-down window. Another really important Google Chrome add-on that I almost forgot about until I went to my notes is Google Keep. Now, this is a really powerful tool that allows you to save certain information and keep it organized in one place. That's this tab up here in the corner. However, I'm gonna show you how you can use it. So let's go back to the Michael Jordan page. If I'm on this page and I want to save important information, then I can click on here and you can see straight away well, it gives you the option of saving that page with some notes. So that's already saved straight to Google Keep. Now, in addition to that, you can then highlight certain bits of information and add them into your notes. So let's say I wanted to add this in as important information. I just right click it, save selection to keep. And then straight away, you can see that we're building some up. I'm gonna save it as basketball. And we're starting to build that information. Now you can do this on a range of different websites, so that's fantastic too. But this one is saved with some key information. In addition to that, if you're on something like Google Docs or Google Slides or something along those lines, and you have a sentence or something that is important and you need to save, then to do that, you just highlight it here. You can see this is really important information. Right click and then go to save to keep. And you'll see there that that is, is saved. It's Save there. If I click off this and then go into my Google Keeps by right clicking, then you can see all of the different information that I have saved. This is really important information. You can see the research and then you can also save hyperlinks too, which can save you some time. And it's all about efficiency when it comes to Google Chrome add-ons. And that brings me to the end of my Google Chrome add-on video. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, feel free to like it. That's always appreciated. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Feel free to subscribe down in the corner. I have no doubt that I've probably missed some fantastic Google Chrome extensions. If you feel like there's some that I've missed out and some that you use regularly and enjoy, please comment them down in the bottom of this video. It's fantastic for educators to support one another and to collaborate through this platform. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. But for now, I'm out.